How to pull forwards into a parking bay. This is one of the new manoeuvres being introduced to the driving test in December 2017. This manoeuvre will be undertaken in a public car park, which could be busy. You'll be asked to choose any space you like. It could be on the right, or you could choose a space on the left if you prefer. You could choose to squeeze into a tight space between two cars, in which case you have to keep it very slow to make sure your accuracy is good. And look out for pedestrians who might walk between the cars. Or you could choose to go into a completely open part of the car park and just park between two lines. Whichever space you choose, the important thing is that you keep it safe. That means taking effective observations before you swing into the space and also while you're manoeuvring into it, and also keeping it nice and slow. Now, the smaller the space, the slower you've got to go. You're going to have to crawl with really good clutch control and make sure you're in no danger of touching the car on the other side and keeping effective observations while you're doing this. If it goes wrong, don't panic. If you feel you're getting too close to the car, just stop, take effective observations, reverse back a little distance and adjust your position, and then go forwards again. It isn't difficult at all to pull forwards into a parking space. Just treat it as if you're turning into a side road, in this case a side road on the right. You would normally try and fit between the kerb on the left and the white line in the middle of the road on the right. The only thing with the parking space is that the space is quite narrow, so you need to take it nice and slow as you turn in to ensure you can turn in accurately. Also, the further away you start from the parking space, the more time you've got to get the car lined up accurately between the lines. Take extra care when reversing out of the parking space. Your view will be restricted by the pillars on the car, and as you can see here, it's often quite busy behind you. Notice the pedestrian walkway behind the car. Look out for pedestrians pushing trolleys, or also walking in between any of the cars. Also, take note of the arrows here. There's a one-way system in the car park. You need to make sure that you follow any one-way system in the car park. Take really effective observations, and when you're happy you've got a gap behind you that's safe, then start reversing nice and slowly. Keep looking left and right for anyone that's moving and all around the car, because pedestrians will walk between them. Make sure you don't turn too early because you don't want to clip the cars on either side of you. Only reverse as far back as necessary to be able to drive away again. Here's another example of reversing out. Again, it's busy behind us, but when we find a safe gap, we take effective observations left and right and then start reversing very slowly. Take care not to steer until you're sure the front of your car is going to miss the cars beside you and only reverse as far as you need to to be able to pull away. Make sure you keep a good lookout because pedestrians will walk behind a slow moving car when it's reversing. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you can see that this new maneuver is quite simple and nothing to be worried about. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you know when I release new videos. Have a good day.